So, uh, I'm currently at home. I'm probably pretty soon going to run out of features to demonstrate, so this is probably probably just do a, a couple more. Um, but right now I'm going to show you uh, projection editing. Uh, I forget what the term for it actually was. In Blender 2.49 it was a, a different way of doing this, but it's really cool. This is basically the feature that allows you to take a piece of geometry that has deformations and, you know, it's not a plane. And uh, you, you can take another object and when you're editing the mesh, have the vertices automatically snap to the surface underneath. And it's really a great modeling tool. And the way that it's approached in 2.5 uh, is a little bit different. So I can either, well, I'll just use this cube since it's here. Um, with Control 2, just adding a subsurf modifier, make it smooth. Um, so here we go. And I'm just going to add a plane. And basically, uh, I'll rotate it with double R just because I want it to be outside. Okay. So, um, basically, we have to be in shaded mode, I believe. Um, and uh, this tool is actually a snapping feature, which, which makes sense. Th this feature was not integrated in the snapping tools, I believe, in 2.49. But here, at the bottom of the 3D view, you can toggle on snapping. And then here, right next to it, is your snapping options. So let's click that and go to face, because we want to snap those vertices to the faces underneath. Um, and then this is the important um, sort of magical button uh, right here. Project vertices on the surface of other objects. So it's just going to toggle that on. What does this one do? Very interesting. Not going to fool with that. All right, so I'm going to go into edit mode, hit G, and suddenly, that's all we had to do, didn't even move it, those four uh, points have snapped to the surface of the object underneath. I'm going to just uh, toggle subsurf on more so we can see. And I'm going to subdivide this several times, uh, this plane. can't really see it, but in um, uh, non-shaded mode you can. All right, and I'm going to press G again. And it's actually going to just conform perfectly to the form of that sphere. Beautiful. And even by going like this, right now it looks like it's not doing it right, but if I change the view, you will see how it's uh, actually deformed those points. So it's a really handy modeling tool if you've got the shape of uh, um, a model that looks really great, but the edge loops aren't working. Um, this is a really great way to to start to work. Anyway, uh, that is that. Pretty cool feature and pretty easy as well.